Hello honey I have some really bad news. Well, 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 it's good to see you again. How was your two month quest for the 50 pound striped base? And? What do you mean you have bad news? Well, about the trip. I made the trip to Maine with Harry. I spent a lot of time and money on my quest for the really huge striper. Yes I know, we have been eating ramen noodles and canned goods for quite some time now. Did you bring home a really huge striper for all of us to eat? No, I went to grab my new waiters and plug bag, and when I turned back around I noticed my van stall 250s and custom G Loomis rods were gone. They must have blown off the roof of the car on the way up to the rocky main coast. I was heartbroken to say the least. What? You dumbass you have got to be kidding me. You said those rods were 200 bucks each, now we are out of food, and the electric has been shut off. And, apparently we are now down over 400 dollars. And to top it all off you have no fish, let alone a 50 pounder. What are we going to do now? Mm, yeah, about the rods, have you seen the last credit card bill yet? No, I have not. Why do you ask? Well, I have to come clean, the rods were 400 each and the van stall 250s were over 700 bucks. Not to mention the several hundred dollars I spent on custom Big Don's plugs, Palmer's bucktails, and over a thousand yards of power pro line and fluorocarbon shock leaders. What? You are a real piece of crap. First you leave us here, to fend for ourselves with no car, GPS or food, we have bill collectors and creditors calling every day. And your job, did you even tell your boss you were going on this trip? My guess is no. Well, no, I may have forgot to mention I was going to miss a few weeks of work while on my journey down the coast. I figured it would be better to ask for forgiveness than to ask for permission. Fishermen like myself tend to think this way. Well your boss called and I told him you were very sick and had to go to the mental hospital, the one on Boone Island, Maine. Just to let you know he did not buy it. You are now unemployed by the way. Well, I never really like work anyway. I have to go now, Harry is in the car waiting for me to return with money and food for the second leg of my journey. May I borrow some money for gas and bait? You have got to be kidding, you're leaving again? That's it. When you leave this time that is it. Do not bother coming back. I really hate you, good luck on your journey, by the way, I hope you slip off a slippery rock and drown. Wow, that was harsh, and I'm sorry you feel this way, however, you need to know, I'm a fisherman, and this, is what I do, goodbye.